It's one of Mr. Rogers most famous quotes. When I was a boy and I would see scary things in the news, my mother would say to me, look for the helpers. You'll always find people who are helping. That certainly applies to people who helped in the days following last year's devastating December tornado outbreak in western Kentucky. LX18 Chief Meteorologist Bill Meck joins us now to introduce us to one of those helpers. Thank you, Sean. One of the hardest hit areas was Dawson Springs. That's in Hopkins County. Now, there's been a lot of loss, but a lot of helpers have spent the past year working to rebuild their community. Tabitha Adams is just one of them. We we're privileged to bring her your story. Yeah, it's the Red Cross people, you know, because there were so many people here. It's like, is this the way it is in any disaster everywhere you all go? Or is this just really bad? And, and they said, this is really bad. Tabitha Adams of Dawson Springs was already a busy mom, a business owner, and a new Rotary Club president. But on the night of December 10th, when the tornadoes tore through Dawson Springs, she became a helper. We drove to town um, to look for some friends, and we ended up digging through Red Bull until about 6 a.m. People worked through the night to free neighbors and friends from their destroyed homes. But what the morning brought when the day broke um, really sent everybody, I think, into a panic. The horror of the scene in the town park left no doubt of the scars forever left on this community of nearly 2,400 people. A total of 19 people killed, hundreds of homes and structures damaged or destroyed. I'm not sure that some of the people in Dawson Springs actually got to mourn the loss of everybody on that night. We were really busy. We were busy helping friends. We were busy helping neighbors. Everybody pitched in and we all made it through. But with the year anniversary coming up, I really think that it's probably gonna hit people a lot harder. Tabitha told us she hopes a new monument in Dawson Springs Park dedicated just weeks ago. This was the foundation of a home where one of ours was lost. Will be a place to reflect. We ended up going with some very elegant black granite and in the shape of a teardrop um, because it, although it was a sad time for this town, we wanted them to be honored with something beautiful out of it. Governor Andy Bashir and his wife Brittany stopped by over Thanksgiving weekend to pay their respects. Money from Rotary International helped pay for the memorial and there were other grants for things like washers, dryers, even school supplies for the kids, all to help people in Dawson Springs begin to rebuild their lives. Tabitha knows the work is far from done. She's now turned her focus to rebuilding Dawson Springs Park. There's not a whole lot for our children to do in this town, and this park and the pool and the ball fields, they were a big part of it. I think now it's time to focus on our, our city park and getting something back for our children to look forward to come summer. At a cost of millions, she knows she's got her work cut out for her. But Tabitha says she's up for the challenge. It's kind of like ripping a scab off an old wound. Even as the scars of December 10th, both seen and unseen, still reveal themselves with the change of seasons. Standing here today and looking at all of the new structures and the new homes and Everybody is full of hope and resiliency. And I think this town is, it's, it's been knocked down, but we're back up on our feet now and we've came a long way, but we still have a long way to go. A long way to go, but with helpers like Tabitha and others in Dawson Springs, it will no doubt get done. Well, you really need people like that in the community after yeah. something like that. It, you truly do, and mm -hmm. to appreciate the devastation. Now that park sits up on mm -hmm. a hill there in Dawson Springs, so you can look off to the northeast. You can see the corridor mm -hmm. of destruction. You can look to the southwest. You can see that corridor of destruction as it came through the park, and their buildings and foundations just gone. Yeah. And it was just truly remarkable that they, as horrible as it was, that it wasn't even worse when you see the amount of damage that was done. Right, right. And then you think about how many years it'll be to, to, to work on this rebuilding project oh, over it, the years. Everybody thought it was going to be a year. No, it, it's yeah. five, ten years. I've seen that mm -hmm. happen in other communities sure. through the years. So luckily nothing like that is on tap. as.